Coach, uh, good to see you. Started uh, another practice season, another season. Uh, uh, you had a, con a full, a full uh, equipment day, full pad day. Uh, how was out there for practice? You know, it was good to be able to get uh, full pads on. You got, uh, you go through an awful lot of drills to where you uh, you fit from an assignment standpoint, and then once you get into uh, the full pads, you get an opportunity to tackle and uh, and seeing the guys that uh, that'll bite. You know, the, those guys that'll they'll take that step forward and, and uh, you know bring bring a little extra as far as the tackling. You know, you want to you want to find some schemes to, uh, to to make sure that they get a lot of reps in, in ball games. You know, so we'll go through uh, we'll go through quite a few. Situations where we see guys uh, see how they finish. You know, how do you, how do you tackle? How do how do you break on the ball? All all those things. And now that you got all those pads on, uh, you know, there's no holding back. So uh, good evaluations today. And uh, the, some of the players we've talked to uh, have said there's an emphasis on stopping the run uh, this year. Number one, uh, uh, what are some of the messages that you've had uh, to the team? Yeah, I think. Um, you know, there's always a, a, a goal of mine to uh, to stop the run. We always thought, uh, you know, if you can if you can stop the run, if you can sort of match the numbers that uh, that the offense presents to the point of attack, and you can stay on top uh, in the in the pass defense, then you give yourself an opportunity to win. And and win is the uh, the name of the game. So if uh, if you don't stop the run, you're, uh, you're 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 putting yourself behind eight ball. So. We want uh, we want to do a better job of of, uh, of attacking blocks. We want to do a better job of getting in our gaps with, with our with our front. We want to do a better job of fitting the defense with our linebackers, and I want to do a better job of, of calling the defenses that that uh, that give us the best opportunity to stop the run. Very good. Now I talked a little bit with Austin Hill uh, last week. Uh, certainly, uh, he's developing a quite a defensive lineman. How do you feel about uh, your defensive line at this point? You know what? It's, it's still early. Uh, I think that uh, we've had a, a, a couple of injuries, you know, during uh, during spring, and, and uh, uh, you know, trying to uh, uh, get some, the next guy up, you know, so to speak. And, and um, uh, I think that uh, I think we've certainly got some potential at, uh, at a lot of the positions at, at, uh, at defensive line, uh, as we do at at, uh, at linebacker. But uh, but I think Austin is, is a guy that that, uh, that leads by example. He's a guy that, that uh, gives great effort, uh, great hustle, and uh, heck, he made a heck of a ball play uh, for us down in, that, uh, down in the, the red zone uh, against Navy and help us, uh, help us win that game. Absolutely. Uh, talked a little bit at uh, uh, your linebacker, Leo Lowen, a captain. Uh, made, you know, really made a lot of plays last year for you, a lot of tackles right in the middle of everything. Uh, saw Trey Sophia out on the field. How do you feel about your uh, linebackers this year? You know what? I think uh, uh, we lost a, a, a really, really good one at uh, at outside linebacker. You know, Andre Carter. Andre would uh, would affect the game. You know, with uh, with his ability to, to rush the passer, we got a lot more uh, quick game. You know, throws uh, last year, which uh, resulted in, in less uh, less yards. You know, down the field. Um, so Trey Sophia is a guy that, that uh, you know we hope that, that can step in and, and do a great job of rushing the passer and uh, give us that same. Uh, emphasis as far as uh, uh, pressure on uh, on the quarterback, either by sacks or hurries, you know, uh, anything to make him uh, that quarterback uncomfortable. As far as the inside linebacker play, Leo did make a ton of plays for us, and and uh, he's played a lot of football over the last couple of seasons. Started a lot of ball games, but uh, but he's been out uh, for uh, for a good part of uh, uh, camp so far. Just uh, uh, you know. Hoping to uh, hoping to get him back soon. Final question: uh, uh, Jabari Moore, I had a chance to chat with. Uh, he's played a lot of games uh, for you, over forty, and made a lot of plays, six interceptions. Uh, uh, he brings a lot of leadership to the defensive backfield. Yeah, I got a, I got a lot of trust in, in Jabari. He's played a lot of snaps, and uh, uh, you know he knows his strengths and, and knows when to uh, uh, when he can gamble and when uh, when he's got to play it uh, you know by the book. And heck, I still remember that first time when he stepped out on the field against uh, Cincinnati, and and uh, you know came hard on a, on a uh, uh, in run force, and you know picked up a fumble and, and uh, or actually I think he caught it uh, caught it in the air, but uh, uh, returned it for a touchdown. So he has uh, he has made some big plays for us over the years, and, and we look for him to continue to do that uh, this next season. Thanks, Coach Ken. Can you go ahead on Zoom?
And he made 10 McNulty in the record. Again. He made a um, big picture sense. How did you feel about this group coming into this season? I mean, you lost some key players, but it looked like you, you're bringing back a lot of talent, a lot of experience. We are bringing back some guys that, uh, that have played ball for us and, and uh, a lot of ball. Um, you know, uh, the thing that that, uh, that that I'm most hopeful on is that, that we can keep them healthy. I think that uh, you know some of the some of the guys have, have had some nagging injuries that, that uh, have kept them out of uh, uh, either practice or games. And, and uh, getting all those guys back healthy is what uh, is what uh, uh, Coach Munkin has done a great job of setting up practice schedule to where we can be more healthy. And uh, you know, that's that's the name of the game. You know, get uh, get those guys with a lot of experience back uh, back in there. Um, when they're out, the other guys are gaining that experience, and, uh, and with that, sometimes comes mistakes. But uh, but I think uh, also some competition. I think we've got some young guys that that, uh, that we're really excited about stepping up and, and competing for uh, for playing time. So I'd like to develop a. Uh, a you know, a two deep, a three deep that, that we can rotate in there and, and play a lot of snaps for us, whether, whether the weather is hot or, or uh, you know, just over the course of a long season, we get a, get a lot of reps from a lot of people. Um, that, uh, that helps you when, uh, when the next season comes around too, as far as experience. But, uh, but I think this, I think, I think we got a chance to, uh, to, to uh, be a little bit better this next season at stopping the run. Um, I think that uh, I'm really anxious to see uh, if if we get some pass rushers to step up and, and take the place of uh, of Andre and uh, and then Marquel Walton was uh, was a tremendous ball player for us and leader, a uh, very instinctive ball player that that uh, uh, made a lot of plays to uh, to get us off the field. So we're looking for that uh, that playmaker in that uh, on the back end that uh, that can take his place. Nate, are you running the same defense only with a couple tweaks? Uh, I think there's tweaks every year. Uh, I've been running the same defense since 1997, I think, 96 or 97. So same, same defense, uh, but uh, uh, tweaks, tweaks every year. That, uh, you got to, uh, or else you know, you're a sitting duck a, a lot of times in a ball game. So you want to give, uh, you wanna give the, the guys some bullets that, uh, that they can use. Uh, some different tools, and, and uh, we've done that again this year. And when you were just referencing young players, are you seeing it with the rising sophomores, or are you actually seeing some talent in the, uh, the new team? You know what? Over the years, I think freshmen have been what you, 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 you count on the least. Uh, any, any school that I've ever work, worked at, uh, whether it was a, a guy that was a, a two-star, a three-star, a four-star, or a five-star, you know, they, they just, uh, it, it takes a little while to go from, from high school to, uh, to college and, and be able to execute at a, uh, a consistency that will, uh, that where the, the other guys can count on you, you know. And, and uh, uh, we do have, uh, we got some guys, I think, that, that, uh, that may uh, step into a, a two deep or three deep role for us this year. I don't, I don't know if, uh, if I'm going to see a freshman step in as a starter, but, uh, but that's why uh, you got preseason camp and that's why we've got uh, you know, scrimmage coming up uh, you know, soon and we continue to practice against one another and see, uh, see how they develop. But, uh, but yeah, I, I am hopeful to see you know, one, two, maybe three guys that, that, uh, that can step up into uh, either a two deep or three deep for us and play. Sophomores, uh, absolutely, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, some, some guys will, will step up. You know, Jack Latour is a guy that uh, has got great size and, and uh, can move around, and he's just uh, he's grown tremendously in the weight room and, uh, and out there on the field. I uh, love, uh, love watching him run around, and, and uh, you know, Trey Sophie is a guy that, that uh, you know, will be a junior for us this year, but, but didn't play a whole lot last season. But I'm, I'm really excited about, uh, about what he does out there on the field so far and just see how, uh, how things progress. Uh, you, know, uh, it, you, you know, Max D. Domenico is a, is a guy that, that has always come in and played a little bit uh, as a freshman, stepped in last year uh, as a sophomore and started several games and did a, a tremendous job for us. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing him step into uh, to a role. He'll, uh, uh, I, I like Casey Larkin, you know, challenging uh, 
uh, uh, you know, our safeties and, and seeing if, uh, if he can get into uh, uh, and sustain a, a too deep position. So, um, I mean, there's a ton of guys I'm, I'm leaving out right now that I'm, I'm incredibly um, impressed with. So we'll, uh, we'll see how they, they pick up the schemes and, and do we get to that consistency in, uh, in execution. That's, uh, that's the main thing. Nate, last thing, uh, just seven days in, uh, how happy are you with the progress and how important is this weekend's scrimmage for your mindset? You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to use a, uh, uh, a scrimmage to see what, from an evaluation standpoint, how, uh, you know, how far we are. And, and, uh, and I'll use that scrimmage, uh, I'll put an awful lot of value in that scrimmage as far as the depth chart. So how have we done so far? We, we, we got a ways to go. Uh, are we there yet? Absolutely not. Uh, but we've still got uh, we still got practices to go. We still got opportunities to get better, and I like uh, I like our mindset. I think uh, I think we got guys that that, that want to do better, that that uh, want to improve, and we'll put the work in to do so. So we're not uh, we're not there right now. Uh, if we went out there and played uh, today, I, I probably wouldn't be very happy. But uh, but we don't have to play the game today. So we we'll use every opportunity we got to uh, to get there. Coach, you were mentioning mentioning sure. To Ken uh, about the strength uh, conditioning, the offensive line uh, mentioned uh, their top ten players are all 300 pounds now. Uh, how do you feel like your defensive line has grown uh, on physical size and strength? I don't know that, that I've, <clears throat> I've ever been concerned about the size. I think uh, you know Aaron Donald is a guy that, that uh, is incredibly explosive in, in the NFL, but uh, but if you were to to, to draft just accord, according to height, weight, you know, size, speed, and then you know, he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be drafted very high, he wouldn't be thought of very, very highly. But I think he's a tremendous football player. Uh, so the, the packages come in different sizes. It's just uh, the guys that, that, that are quick processors and have the tools to, to get to where they need to be quickly. And then when they get there, do they have enough explosiveness to where they can, uh, you know, rock a uh, an offensive blocker's head back, and then uh, and then you know, get into some type of block destruction and get off blocks and, and go make tackles. So whether a guy is uh, six five or whether he's, uh, you know, uh, six foot, you know, or or five eleven like uh, you know Aaron Donald, you know, I'll, I'll I'll take the explosive guys that, that can move, get there, and. Uh, you know, bring a little something with them when they do get there. Okay. Uh, just a final question. Um, another player with experience on defensive line, Darius Richardson, uh, a senior. He's moved up, uh, played a lot last year, and you, and you got him back this year. Yeah, I love Darius. Uh, D. Rich is, uh, is a tremendous uh, uh, individual. He's come a long way as far as being able to help uh, our, our, our defensive unit. I, uh, I trust his effort every day. And uh, – and I think that uh, there'll be there'll be a lot of competition at, at that uh, nose tackle position. I think there's a lot of guys that, that uh, uh, have something to bring to the to the table, whether it's uh, uh, strength or quickness or you know just uh, just agility. You know, there's there's a lot of different uh, skill sets at that uh, at the nose position, and we're going to try to find a way to to use all of them and. and uh, and be able to rotate at, at that uh, at that position a lot, and I think uh, D. Rich is, is a guy that it, uh, is a leader in the room, and will step up and, and uh, uh, you know bring that position you know back to where uh, where we want it. Thanks, thanks, Coach. Sure. You know, one of the number one focuses going into this season is to improve the defense against the run. That's kind of been a trademark of Army defense, definitely since you've been there. Uh, I know it's probably a little early to tell. But have you seen any improvement in that area and run defense? How's that going so far in camp early on? Yeah, actually, Joe, what uh, what I was looking to do last year was improve our pass defense. Uh, you know, I wanted to do some things that, that would give us an opportunity to uh, to win the ball game, uh, you know, late in the fourth quarter and, and get to where we had some confidence and and uh, uh, you know just keeping uh, keeping the other team from uh, from scoring you know in the passing game. And, and I also thought that uh, if we did that, and we did that well, 
then we needed a really good red zone defense. And if we were uh, if we were really good in our red zone defense, that we would give ourselves you know an opportunity to win you know, most of uh, the football games that we played. And and uh, uh, you know do do I want to give up uh, you know more yards per carry than than uh, than I did the previous year? Heck no. But uh, but there's a lot of different ways to win ball games. And and if you're hitting it on the you know if you're hitting it the right way, if you if you can read your defense and your talent well and and focus on the things that that, uh, that you're really good at and then have something to counter with you know over the course of the game then um, you know that's that's what I want to do so whether uh, uh, you know whether we're dropping eight or, or, or blitzing everybody you know just uh, uh, the big thing for me is is to make sure that that, that we give ourselves a chance give our offense a chance and and uh, you know, defensively, if that means we've got to, to uh, put an extra one in the box to stop the run, then uh, you know, then, then I'll do that sometimes. But uh, but also, it's it's good to to put an extra one in coverage at times, and you know maybe that uh, you know that five or six yard run is uh, is not something that beats you. You know what I mean? It's just uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and the red zone. I mean, you mentioned the red zone defense. The last three games last year, the red zone stops were incredible, especially at the goal line. Uh, we all remember that. So it was really good. Final question for you, Coach. Uh, the Mike linebacker position opposite Leo Lowen. I know there's been some injuries there. Kind of, who have you seen kind of step up there? Who's kind of in the running to take that job at this point? Oh, I'll tell you what. It, it's, there's so many guys rotating through right now that I'm, I'm interested in. And it's just, uh, and, and not just the Mike position. It's, it's the uh, it's the, the 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 Will linebacker too. Uh, Leo is a tremendous football player for us, outstanding. But he's got he's got a lot of competition at at, uh, at his position. So uh, every day that that, uh, that we go out to practice, you know, we're we're, uh, we're grading uh, you know performance, competitive performances, and and uh, uh, you know I, I won't know you know exactly where we're at with uh, with our depth chart. Probably yeah. until uh, until after the uh, scrimmage, and it may be even even uh, you know, a little bit uh, a little bit longer after that. But there's so many guys right now that, that we're rotating through at linebacker that uh, you know I'm excited and I'm I'm, I'm anxious to see who who it is that, that, that uh, that's going to step up and uh, and win win the position. Thanks, Coach Wade. Sure. Thanks, guys. Thanks.